<coughs> hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs. So guys, today I'm going to cover one important topic that is called uh, uh, Ghost Driver. How to execute your test cases without opening the browser. It means how to execute your test cases with headless browser testing. It means I'm not going to launch my browser and it's still my test cases are running on. Okay. So we have seen earlier sessions that in earlier sessions that how to use HTML unit driver. Okay, but uh, there another driver is available that is called Ghost Driver as well as Phantom JS. So Phantom JS is responsible for execute your test cases in headless mode. Headless, headless means no browser is getting opened. So what I'm gonna do that how exactly internal it works. So this is your web driver script and this is your web driver binding library, whatever the Java code or C sharp code or whatever the Python binding you are using, and Ghost. Phantom JS, Phantom JS driver internally uses Ghost driver, which is behaving like a HTTP REST JSON wire protocol. Okay, so it means it is the REST API call. It will read your data from your respective uh, language binding or from your code. Like click on this particular button, get the title, and submit this particular form. Enter something on that, on that particular text field. Everything is taking from here. And then with the help of Phantom JS is performing action on the specific web application on the web page. So always remember Phantom JS internally uses Ghost Driver only. Earlier, what exactly it was happening that there were two separate entities, Ghost Driver as well as Phantom JS. So you had to download Ghost Driver as well as Phantom JS. But now they have combined everything together. So you don't need to download separately Ghost Driver as well as Phantom JS. Right? So <clears throat> What exactly you have to do? You just need to add two things. The first thing you have to download, guys, that is called Phantom JS EXE file. So this is the URL for Phantom JS EXE file. This is a site phantomjs.org, and on the download folder, download section, you can see that according to Windows, your Mac OS and Linux. So you just need to download this particular zip file. I'm using my Mac machine, so I'm going to download this Mac OS dot zip file. This will this zip file will give you one folder in that particular folder one bin folder is there in which you will get phantomjs.exe file so I can show it to you this is the phantomjs.exe file if you see on my downloads folder this is the folder inside the bin phantomjs.exe so you don't need to execute this file guys you just need to configure it just like we used to do that chrome driver.exe as well as geeko driver.exe right so that's the first thing second thing in your eclipse what you have to do you just need to create one maven project it's a very simple code guys this is the maven project i have already uh, created phantom js concept open your pom.xml file and you have to add one important dependency that is called this phantom js driver dependency and the latest version of phantom js driver is 1.4.4 is the latest version okay and uh, Selenium Java, obviously you have to use the latest version of Selenium is 3.11 so that we can write the Selenium code. Code will remain same, only the changes, the driver. Instead of Chrome driver or Geeko driver, we are using Phantom JS driver. And now what we have to do, what I'm gonna do, let's create one class, okay? And uh, let's see, my class name is Phantom Headless Browser, okay? Select the main method and click on finish. In this particular class, let's write a couple of uh, important features that I've already written over here for you guys. That what do you mean by Phantom JS? Phantom JS driver internally uses Ghost driver. Okay, this is also called headless browser testing. What do you mean by Ghost driver? Ghost driver is used as JSON wire protocol. It is also called HTTP REST calls internally it will read okay the data in the form of rest apis from your script and perform the action with the help of phantom js on the browser i mean not on the browser on the web page it internally interacts with your html dom whatever the html dom is there it directly attacks the html dom instead of your web pages because there are no web pages because there is no browsers are there there is no button there is no look and feel okay so this is also called that's why this is called headless browser okay this is also called headless browser another feature is that no browser will be launched testing is happening behind the scenes so you will not get to know that what is happening you you can't see anything what is happening 
okay during the execution and it's very fast because obviously browser is not getting launched so it's not going to um, you know navigating clicking on this button and navigating and waiting for some time or something like that it's not going to happen so that's why it is very fast and it directly interacts with your html dom whatever the web page html dom is there application html dom it will interact and then we'll try to perform some action on it so let's write the code so first thing you have to set the system property so this is the property name uh, the key is this guys uh, i'll tell you what is the key this is the key phantom js binary dot path is the key and uh, the value will be that phantom js exe file that you have downloaded that is the value so phantom js dot exe this is the location you have to pick it up and then let me maximize it and then what exactly your uh, file name this is my file name phantom js is the file name if you are using windows machine guys you have to use dot exe like this okay so i'm using mac in mac exe doesn't work so i'm using this in your case if you are using windows it will be c drive or d drive you just need to add the path that's it now same code web driver driver is equal to new instead of chrome driver or geeko driver guys what we have to use we have another new driver that is called phantom js driver okay phantom js driver you have to use and this web driver is a normal driver interface you have to import it from selenium so you can see that phantom js driver is coming from here and web driver is coming from here after that what i'm going to do simple i'm getting the title driver dot get title is there let me check the recording is on yeah so driver dot get title is there it will give you the title and i'm taking in a string variable because it will give you a string variable the string title is equal to this and i'm printing it system dot out dot that uh, title before login is title right so this title will be coming over here so title before login is so if you see this particular application that freecrm.com let me log out if you see whenever you launch freecrm.com this is the title guys can you see that this is a title that free crm in the cloud software boost sales this is a title so it should get the title without opening the browser okay so let's run this program and let's see without browser should not be launched because we are not giving any browser name over here and automatically okay it should get the title and it should print on the console so let's run it so it's see okay it's giving you blank title let me run it again oops we haven't launched the okay url sorry for that so driver dot get and what is the url http colon double slash www dot freecrm.com that's why it was giving you the blank title let me remove this thread dot sleep okay so let's run it and let's see if it is working or not now so now it should give you the title okay see it's reading the title internally it's launching the application interacting with the browser now you can see that title before login is free crm in the cloud software sales team right so this is the thing now the same thing if you see on the console i mean on the browser same title is available now we can perform some entering the username password and clicking on a button also so if you check that after login into the system test after logging into the system i want to check on this home page what is the title on this home page crm pro is the title so what I have done over here, I have done that uh, I have taken the title before login. Now I'm going to login. It means I'm going to write the code for uh, login as well. So I have that code. It's very simple. So many times you have done. And again, I'm going to take the title. Very simple. So this is the login code. I'm going to enter by dot name. Username is Naveen K. And the password is test at the rate one two three, and I'm clicking on the login button. And again, I'm going to wait for two seconds. 
and then after login also i'm getting a title so after login it should give you the title is crm pro and you can click anywhere guys you can click contacts new contacts and you can fill the form whatever you want to do the exact same thing you can do it in phantom js driver also driver or find element but you won't be able to see what is happening okay you cannot see with your eyes okay so let's run and then see it is working or not before login title and after login title so application it is launching internally but we won't be able to see that there is no browser is getting open you can see there is no browser and uh, it's interacting see title before login and now it's going to log into the application entering username password but again we won't be able to see that and once the successful login is done then it should give you the title let's see so it's taking some time because it's trying to check where exactly by dot name or by dot password or something like that so let's wait for a few seconds and then i think we should get it Correct. So you can see that after login title is this CRM PRO. So it means I'm able to get the title without opening the browser and without opening the browser, I'm able to enter username and password and clicking on a button also. So these two things are for text field. I'm able to enter the values inside the text fields and clicking on a button as well. So you can perform whatever you want to. You want to fill a form. You want to click on a link. Whatever you want to do, guys, you can do that with Phantom JS driver. The only thing is it is headless browser no browser will be launched in that case okay it's very simple famous interview question that uh, how to execute your test cases without opening the browser so phantom js ghost driver is there it's very simple okay how exactly it is internally using it is internally using ghost driver which is used as a json wire protocol and that's why this is called headless browser because no browser will be launched and testing is happening behind the scene it's little fast as compared to the normal Geeko driver or Chrome driver because there you have to launch the browser and then you have to execute the script and I mean clicking on a link and navigation and it's taking some time to page load or something like that here we don't need to do anything over it. okay so that's all for today it's very simple similarly HTML unit driver is also there that is also called uh, um, headless browser testing so there are two types of headless we can perform phantom JS as well as HTML unit driver okay and uh, this HTML unit driver is a okay sorry phantom JS driver is a class which is implementing web driver interface again dynamic polymorphism cool so that's all for today guys and uh, let me know if you have any issue, uh, issues please write your questions in the comment section and if you really like this video please subscribe to the channel and uh, share with your friends and uh, yeah that's all for today so this is the channel name guys Naveen Automation Labs and please subscribe to the channel and a lot of videos will be there in future so that you will be notified accordingly automatically that if any future okay any online I mean new videos. Thank you so much guys that's all for today.